Near where I live is a place of beauty. Vast open spaces with no one on duty. Leaves fall from the trees like hairs out of my cap. But I'm not here for the scenery. I'm here for the bat. As I approach the gate, it lets out a groan. Another visitor, it sighs, excited to the bone. I smile to myself and my footsteps quicken. Little does the gate know I'm love-stricken, dedicated to a symbol of pure fiction, which for the last seven years has been my addiction. I wait until I'm by myself before I transform into that something else, something more, something pure, something that breaks the dull reality, something that I wish was an actuality. When the transformation is complete, I no longer feel obsolete. A dark night rises from within. This is where the work begins. Oh, what a natural high to have my ears pointing to the sky. I feel like I could take off, fly. In fact, I might give it a try. But oh no, there is no time for games. These grounds need me. Focused I must remain. The vigilante has no time for friends. It's a one-man job on no one else can I depend on. I watch over the people who share this sacred space, but never are they exposed to their hero's face. It is a selfless task, but it must be done. My job is only finished, and I can no longer see the sun. The air soon becomes chilly and the people go home. I often sit and ponder, is it just me out here alone? A lonely existence it can be, with only the ducks for company. The last thing I do is the same, each and every day. I go up to the manor, where my hero once lay. This part of my adventure is both the best and the worst. The removal of my cape never ceases to hurt. But I remind myself, here lies a piece of history that will forever last. And it won't be long before I'm back here with my mask. My role is stadium manager. I'm in charge of the playing surface and I'm in charge of the training ground and I also help and support the safety officer. As a person that could never play football, or wasn't good enough to play football at a high standard, I'm very proud of what, what my role is at the football club, because it's an honour, basically. It's, I never thought in my working life I'd be the stadium manager at a football club. I was asked to come back to the club um, in November 2011 to, um, to work as an ambassador. Uh, the club had got some plans um, in celebrating the 150th year, which has taken place this year. And when I was informed of what was going on, I, I jumped at the chance. And I consider this to be my home now. And um, um, coming down to Meadow Lane is, is like second nature to me, seeing friends um, elderly youngsters and, and chatting away about the club. It's just a lovely place to be. It is a very, very friendly football club. Um, but I'm also part of a, a very vibrant former players association that we have at the club. And each year we, we organise two big events, which are um, a meal. We, we get together um, to celebrate a meal and honour a former player or manager. So um, that has been wonderful and to be able to relive past memories with uh, like-minded people and also to, to plan for the future as well. So it's been quite an honour of being associated with uh, this football club from the playing side and also with links to the supporters and the community. I've been a supporter for about 35 years now. The club's changed a hell of a lot. Um, been rebuilt. Um, I can remember standing on terraces. But now, now it's well, all grounds now. You have to sit down and everything. Highlight of being a not 
last one is going to Wembley a few times and winning the Anglo-Italian Cup. Um, so from, from being promoted, first times obviously I've been relegated. Uh, to me, the, cl the club is so much rich history, especially being 150 years. Going, oldest club in the world. I, I've got to admit, I come down to every home game. I went to Juventus. Um, that was another highlight. Um, I just enjoy being a football, being a football fan and associated with Notts County. Studio. Some of his old things and 
and freaking out. I mean, I think I left one of our old photographs in his journal and I mean, what should I do? Should I go back for it? These are memories. Good, bad. And right now someone else has my childhood and I want it back. 